Hi, I'm John Norris with MTV News. Motley Crue recently returned to the scene with a new self-titled album, their first in four years, and their first with John Karabi, the new vocalist who replaces Vince Neil. We spoke with the crew recently about the new album, the new sound, and the new guy, but when we brought up the old days, things got ugly. Take a look. Motley Crue is back. And with a new album and lead singer, they say they're bigger and better than ever. But at a time when metal groups are having trouble staying in the top ten, do the crew even care? You have all the, the guys with the little goatees and the Doc Martens and, you know, it's like a, it's, it's more of a fashion movement than it is a musical movement right now, I think. And it's the same problem we had in the, you know, a certain, certain point a few years ago where everyone was just copying something successful. It was only a few short years ago that the group was fronted by Vince Neil. The new album is the first with former The Scream lead, John Karabi. It's pretty natural evolution. When John came into audition, he, uh, you know, we were looking for a singer. He came in and, like, strapped on a guitar. You know, we were like, whoa, what's going on? You know, and we started jamming. And he's like, you know, check out this riff. And it was just real natural for us to jump on the riff as a band and all jam together. And all of a sudden, the sound got twice as fat. And, yeah. and all these things just naturally started coming. So. It just kind of really flowed and happened and did its thing. And with Karabi now in place, we thought we'd get the details of the much publicized falling out with Neil. What happened with Vince? Uh, we'll save that for the book. Uh, <laughs> we, we're not, we don't want to talk about that. Okay. No one cares anyway. <laughs> okay, but did they care when their former bandmates sustained several broken ribs and internal injuries while jet skiing a few weeks ago? <laughs> My heart goes out to you. <laughs> what happened to the coral reef? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, when 300 pounds of blubber land on a coral reef, you know there was some, <laughs> some dust flying around. <laughs> You're invited, but I weigh a ton. Oh, okay, here we go, Greg. <laughs> now, you know that's going to be run. At least the group showed they still have a sense of humor when asked about women, fire, and hairspray, the main components of their videos in years past. Dude, that is a stupid question. Let's Dr. Feelgood wasn't like that. You know what? Let's Same just, old let's wasn't just, like let's that. Let's knock the interview off. This is getting really stupid. Women, hairspray, and fire? Women, hairspray, and fire? Dude, who wrote those questions? Break. Well, we never did get to ask the crew about their upcoming tour, which we hear launches in early June, or about the surprising fact that they've done an alternative radio remix of the single Hooligans Holiday with the industrial noise band Skinny Puppy. Anyway, that's the news for now. We'll have more news later right here on MTV.